with Miss Erica and Boy. And guess what? This week we're gonna learn about Jacob. You remember Jacob? Remember? Well, last week we learned about um Abraham. You know, Father Abraham had many. Oh, sorry, don't start. Well, anyway, what, Boy? Tell the boys and girls about. Oh yeah, I forgot all about the special surprise at the end. Okay, I tell them, Boydie. So. What you boys and girls don't know about is at the end of summer camp, there's going to be a special prize for one little girl and one little boy who can answer the most questions about all the people we learned about during our family tree time. Isn't that great? So make sure that you pay attention so maybe you could be one of the boys or one of the girls who gets the special secret special special secret special surprise. Mm-hmm. Well, boy, what's the secret special surprise? Well, I'm not telling you, but I bet you're going to like it. I know you're going to like it. So make sure you pay attention and maybe you'll get the prize. You guys remember when we learned about Abraham and then Abraham begot Isaac, begot had Boydie, remember? Keep up. Um, um, he had Isaac and then Isaac, remember, we talked about it. Isaac had two sons. They were twins. One was called Jacob and the other one was called Esau. Mm -hmm. So we're going to learn about Jacob today. Boydie, do you know the story about Jacob, the twins, Jacob and Esau? Well, today we are going to learn. Well, you know how, like, there's sometimes when you have twins, well, one um, is the firstborn because one um, comes out of the belly first. Well, um, Esau was the one who came out of the belly first. So Jacob is the secondborn. And then, do you guys remember how when I told you about the Hebrews and how their life was um, full of trials and tribulations? You guys remember? What? You don't remember a trial and tribulation? Boy, D, you do too. Remember, a trial is sometimes when the Lord puts you through something to see how um, you... Oh, if you are obedient, mm -hmm. and then a tribulation is just plain old tough times. Times, they just get hard, and there's nothing you can do about it. You just have to um, trust in the Lord with all your heart, and just believe that the Lord will see you through it, because he will, because he's so great. Anyway, are you guys ready to learn about Jacob? Okay, so get ready for a fantastical trip through history. Well, today we're gonna learn about the Israelites. What's that? Who are the Israelites? Well, you'll find out. What? You thought you learned about Jacob? We are, Boydy. That's the whole point. So. Let's see, where should we begin, Boydie? I mean, Jacob had such a huge, um, he had a lot of trials and tribulations. But you know what? Sometimes he, um, well, he, uh, what the Bible calls reap what he sowed. Hmm, what's reap what you sow? It's when whatever you do um, happens to you. Like, if you do something to somebody else, the same thing will happen to you. Mm -hmm. That's why the Bible tells us to treat people the way that you want them to treat you. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes if you do something to someone, the same thing will happen to you. Like, if you steal from someone, someone will steal from you. If you tell a fib to someone, someone will tell a fib to you. So you just have to um, treat people the way you want to be treated. So, Boydie, where should we begin? Oh, I know. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, let's start with his father, Isaac, so we know what goes on. You guys ready? Okay, here we go. The Lord appeared to Isaac and said to him in the night, 
I am the God of your father, Abraham. He said, Do not fear, for I am with you, and I will bless you and multiply your descendants for my servants, Abraham's sake. What will he Descendant, boy, we talked about descendants last time. Remember, descendants are, you know, his children and grandchildren and great grandchildren and great 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 all the way down the line, boydy. Do you guys remember when God told um Abraham that he would have so many descendants that he wouldn't even be able to number them? There would be so many of them. You guys remember that? Remember, boydy. I remember. Well, anyhow, so now God said the same thing to his son Isaac. And then remember, Isaac has two sons, Jacob and Esau, twins. Well, you know how um sometimes brothers and sisters or um brothers and brothers or or siblings just um they don't get along so well. You know how like sometimes that happens well when it comes to Jacob and Esau. Oh boy, do they get in trouble with each other. What, boy? What do I mean? Well, there was this one time when Esau, he sold his birthright. What? What's the birthright? Well, um, in those times, back way, 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 long, long time ago, um, well, the firstborn, he, well, he inherited, um, everything. What? What's inherited? Well, boy, inherited is, um, like when your mom and dad or, um, goes, you know, up there. Um, you know, when they, um, pass away. Well, the firstborn of the children normally gets all the stuff. Well, probably the mom and dad hopes that the older person will take care of the little brothers and sisters, you know. Um, but that's just the way it was. If you were the older one, you got everything that mom and dad owned. And in this case, it would have been all the cattle and the sheep and all the livestock and clothes and jewelry and things. Um, uh, who was there, mom? Oh, I didn't tell you about Rebecca. Oh, well, Isaac, um, he got a wife, and her name was Rebecca. And you know what? I forgot to tell you. Oh, okay, I tell you all about the story. Well, what happened was Esau, oh, well, Esau, he was, um, he was big and strong, and he liked to go hunting, and he would take care of all the livestock, and he was probably the one who would go out and chop all the wood, you know, for the fires. He was just kind of a, um, he was what we call an outdoorsman. Mm-hmm. And then Jacob, well, Jacob was very, um, he was kind of, um, he was kind of a sensitive guy. Mm -hmm. He stayed at home a lot. He stayed around the house with his mother, Rebecca. So probably that's why, um, Esau was probably Isaac's, um, favorite. And then Rebecca, her favorite was, um, Jacob. What? Their mom and dad shouldn't have had favorites. They should love them just the same. That's right, Boydy. But you know what, Boydy? Just because um they liked um the his papa liked the fact that he was an outdoorsman doesn't mean he loved his son Jacob any less. He loved Esau and Jacob just the same. Just like Boydy, even though you get to come to work with my mom every day, and even though I love you very much, I love all your brothers and sisters and and all the animals. You're just um you're just older and so you need a little extra um attention and care. And so um Esau, he um his papa just like that he was able to um, count on Esau to provide meat and things for the family. And Rebecca, she liked that she had a, um, somebody at home with her to cook and things. And that's what Jacob did. 
um, like this one time when Jacob was making this mm, delicious stew. Um, but he did something really naughty, Boydy. Do you want to hear about it? What about you boys and girls? Do you want to hear what Jacob did? Mm-hmm. Okay, listen up. Here we go. I'll tell you all about the red stew. Well, here's what it says in the Bible. Shh, listen, Boydie. Here we go. Now, Jacob cooked the stew, and he saw he came in from the field, and he was very weary. But what's weird? Well, he was tired and hungry. He was very tired and hungry. Shh, now listen. So Esau said to Jacob, Please, please feed me some of that red stew, for I am very weary. This is how Jacob gets in trouble. Listen, Boydy. Then Jacob said, Sell me your birthright, and I'll give you some of this stew. Uh-oh. Do you know what Esau said? Take your stew and shove it. No, he didn't say that, boy. He said, Look, I'm about to die. What is my birthright to me? Just give me some of that stew. I'm hungry. So Jacob said, Swear to me this day that I can have your birthright and I'll give you some of this stew. So Esau said, Hmm, all right, I swear. Just give me some of that stew. I'm hungry. So, he gave him the stew, and Esau sold his birthright to his brother for um a pot of stew. What's that, Boydy? You probably would have did it too if you were hungry, Boydy. You're just silly. Well, the thing is, um, this wasn't the first. I mean, this wasn't the only time Jacob tricked Esau or um did something bad to Esau. Jacob was a little mischievous. What, Boydy? What was the other time? Well, this, oh, I'll tell you that one time, this is the time that changed everything. Um, well, but, um, when Isaac was really, really old, he, um, he couldn't see so well anymore. And then he called um, Esau, and he told Esau to come here because he had something to tell him. What? What did he have to tell him? I'm getting to it. Just a minute, Boydie. Be patient. Well, you guys ready? Okay, listen close, because this is where it all goes down. Well, um, Isaac said to Esau, um, Son, um, i like you to do something for me before I... Um, before I go be with my father, Abraham. What? Where did, it, where did Abraham go? Boydie, if Isaac was very old, where do you think Abraham was by now, Boydie? What? People live like 900, 200 each. You know what, Boydie? You're actually right. I apologize. You're right. Well, he was, um, you know. He was with, um, Adam by now. No, you don't know? Boy, he was in heaven. He was, um, gone. He was, he passed away. Anyway, Boy, so Isaac told Esau, before I go to be with my father, um, Abraham, um, I want to bless you. But before I bless you, um, I'm going to need you to do something for me. And he said, sure, father. What would you like me to do f before you bless me? So Isaac said, he said, I am old. He said, um, and um, I want you to take your weapon, your bow, and your quiver, and I want you to go hunt me some game, and then come back and cook me some food. Mmm, savory food, such as I love, and then I'll bless you. What, well, Boydie, what was game? Um, you know, probably like a deer or something. What? Why did he go have to go 
hunting if they had a bunch of sheep? Well, Boydy, nobody wants to eat sheep every single day, Boydy. Would you want to eat cheeseburgers every day? Huh? Yes, yes, you would. You'd actually love to eat cheeseburgers. Boydy, you can't eat cheeseburgers every day. <laughs> well, anyway, so he said, Okay, Papa, I'll go find you um some delicious game, and I'll come back and I'll cook it for you, and then your then your soul can bless me. Mm -hmm. So here's where it gets good, boy. Do you pay attention. You know that mom, Rebecca. Well, Rebecca was listening at the door, and so she told she said, um, Jacob, come here, quick. I gotta say something. So Rebecca says, um, indeed, I heard your father speak to Esau, your brother, saying, bring me game and make me savory food so that I can bless you, um, uh, in the presence of the Lord before I, um, before, um, I go to heaven. Well, so then Rebecca says to, um, Jacob, she said, Go out in the pen, you know, where all the goats are, and um, bring a beautiful goat. And I'm going to fix it. Lovely meal with all the things your father loves. And then um, you're going to take it into your father so that you can take it into your father and you will get the blessing. Mm-hmm. But then Jacob said, um... Mother, um, Esau's pretty hairy, and, um, I'm not very hairy, and suppose Papa feels me and realizes that it's not Esau, and he curses me instead of blessing me because I tricked him. So, um, uh, Rebecca says to Jacob, she says, don't you worry about that, your curse will be on me. Just go and do what I told you to do and go get the goat and I'll fix it up nice. So she did. She um took the goat and she fixed a delicious, savory meal such as Isaac loved. But then, you know what she did? Huh? Savory. Oh, that's like, you know how sometimes I'll put gravy on your food or I'll put bone broth? Mmm, delicious, but very healthy. But um, it just makes the meal taste delicious. It just means a nice comforting meal. So she probably cooked potatoes and carrots and parsnips and things. Now, shh, listen, Boydie. So then what she did was she took some of Esau's clothes that were in the house and she put them on Jacob. And then she took, you know, like the... The skin from the goat because it's kind of hairy, you know. And she put that on Jacob's arms and his neck so that he could feel hairy when Isaac felt them. So then Jacob went into Isaac in there in the room and he said, Um, uh, my father. And he said, huh? He says, my father, I'm here. He says, Isaac said, who are you? He says, I'm, I'm your son, East Esau, your firstborn. He says, hmm, the voice sounds like Jacob. Come here so I could feel you and see if you're really my son Esau. So then he came near him and he smelt him. <laughs> Smells like Esau. Smells like the fields. Hmm. And he felt them and he says, hmm, feels like Esau. He says, but the voice. He says, are you really my son Esau, he says, yes, father, here I am. I made the food that you wanted. Here, eat it, and so your soul can bless me. And so then um, Isaac says, well, how did you find the game so fast and fix the food so quickly? He said, and then Jacob said, he told a fib, buddy. He said, the Lord your God, they, he brought them to me. Mm -hmm. And that's how I found them so fast. He told a story on the Lord. Uh, he's going to be in trouble, Boydy. Anyhow, um, so then Isaac said, Surely the smell of my son is like the smell of the field, which the Lord has blessed. Therefore, may God give you of the dew of heaven, of the fattest of the earth, and plenty of grain and wine. 
Let the people serve you and nations bow down to you. Be masters over your brethren and let your mother's sons bow down to you. Cursed be everyone who curses you and blessed be those who blesses you. And so then, do you know what happened right after he received that blessing? Esau found him <gasps> almost. So right after he got his blessing, he left. And then, you know, who walked in? Esau. He saw, he says, Father, please arise and eat your food that I made for you. Savory food, such as you love. I went out and I got delicious game. And I'm ready for you to eat it so your soul may bless me. And Isaac said, who? Who are you? Esau says, it's me, your, your firstborn Esau. Then Isaac trembled, and he was pretty afraid, and he said, oh, who, who, who was that who was here who hunted game and fed me and brought it to me, and I ate it, and I blessed them? And Isaac said, indeed he shall be blessed. And boy, oh boy, was Esau mad. He said, what? Two times, these two times did Jacob trick me. These two times he supplanted me. He says, I know what I'm going to do. He said, but Papa, Papa, don't you have a blessing for me too? And Isaac said, I've blessed him. Indeed he shall be blessed. And he shall be your master. And Esau says, I'll get him, I'll get him. I'm going to wait till Papa dies and I'm going to kill him. He says, but Papa, you only have one blessing. And then Isaac said, behold, your dwelling shall be of the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven above. By your sword you shall live, and your brother, and you shall serve your brother. Well, Rebecca had found out that Esau was really mad, so she went to Jacob and she said, "Your brother, he said, he said, um, he was gonna do, and he, um, well, he said some things." So she said, you've got to get out of here. Um, I don't want anything to happen to you, so you got to go. He said, what? Mama, where am I to go? She said, you have to go to my brother Laban's house. So before Jacob left and went to Laban's house, his father says um, to him, he says, um, don't take a wife from here. Mm -mm. Go back to your mom's um, brother's um, place and get a wife from over there. He says, but before you go, may God Almighty bless you and make you fruitful and multiply you, that you may be an assembly of people. What was an assembly? A whole bunch of people all together, you know, like the promise that God promised Abraham, that he would be um, a whole bunch of people, you know, a whole nation of people. Anyhow, listen, he says, and may the Lord give you the blessing of Abraham to you and to your descendants with you that you might inherit the land in which you are a stranger, which God gave to Abraham. So Isaac sent Jacob away and he went to Padam Haram. What? That's a place, Padam Haram. It was a place where um his uncle Laban was. So now listen, because here's where the story gets kind of, um. remember that whole reaping what you sow thing? Well, here it goes. So Jacob goes to his uncle's house, right? And when he gets there, he meets a beautiful girl. Her name was Rachel. Oh boy, was she beautiful and he loved her a lot. Mm -hmm. So Jacob says to um, her father, I'm going to work for you for um, a long time. And then after that time, I want to marry your daughter, Rachel. What? Why do you have to work for her first? 
Well, he had to make a little money. You can't just get a wife with no money. You got to have a, you know, a place for her to live and things. You know, she has to be comfortable. So when it came time to marry Rachel, oh boy, here's where the reaping and sowing comes in. He, um, you see, Rachel had a sister, older sister. Mm -hmm. Her name was Leah. Well, Leah was very sweet. She was a sweet girl, but she wasn't um as um she wasn't as pretty as Rachel. And Jacob didn't love her. He loved Rachel. Well, well on the wedding, you know, when um he went to sleep after the wedding and he woke up and it was light time cuz they didn't have lights back then. Boydie, you know, it was pretty dark when he went to sleep and when he woke up and he um, went to look at his beautiful wife. Guess what? It wasn't Rachel. It was Leah. He thought he married Rachel. But it was Leah. What? Why didn't he see her at the wedding? Well, he did see her at the wedding. But then he got tricked. It's just how things went back then. The wedding was a little different. And... Don't worry about that part, boy. Anyhow, he ended up married to Leah instead of Rachel, and boy, was he mad. What, boy? They tricked him like he tricked Esau? That's exactly right. He reaped what he sold. He was a tricky one, and they tricked him. Although it wasn't right, and it wasn't nice, you're not supposed to do things to people that you don't want done to you. Well, you're right, Boydy. That's kind of what happened. But he still really loved Rachel. So you know what he said? He went to her papa and said, Um, all right, you tricked me. And that wasn't very nice. But, um, I'm willing to work for you for another long time so I can marry your daughter, Rachel. He says, all right, you work here for a long time. And then I'll let you marry Rachel, too. What's that, Boydy? How could he have two wives? Well, things were different back then, Boydy. So um, back then, they did have two wives. But um, God doesn't let you have two wives, Boydy. So don't get any ideas. Well, this is where it gets really crazy. Well, what happened was he had two wives. Now, this meant he had children so he ended up having um 12 sons do you know what they're called boy d what cheaper by the dozen boy d you're just silly no that's not what they were called they were called the 12 tribes of israel what who's israel aha we're getting to that part boy d so his father-in-law kept tricking him, kept making him work for him for a long time and never giving him what he asked for. So the Lord told Jacob, Jacob, I want you to leave that place and I want you to go back to your father's house. So Jacob packed up all of his wife's stuff and his kids and things and he went to go back to where his father was. So while they were on the way, Jacob says, go on, go on before me. Um, leave me here for a while by myself. Um, and so then what happened was he sees um, this guy and he realizes that this guy was someone special, very special. So Jacob grabs him and he starts wrestling with him and he says, let me go. But he said, I will not let you go until you bless me. So he said to him, what is your name? He says, my name is Jacob. He says, your name shall no longer be Jacob. For your name shall be Israel. For you have wrestled with God and won. <gasps> so this was the story of Jacob. Jacob could be a little bit naughty. But he learned to be humble. You see, the Lord blessed Jacob because even though he did naughty things, he always believed. He always trusted God. And when his father told him to go, he went, knowing that the Lord would go with him. And he did. Jacob left his father's house with nothing. 
and he came back with twelve sons. The twelve tribes of Israel, they're called. And so next week, boys and girls, we're going to learn a little bit about those twelve、um, sons of his. So don't forget to fill out your worksheets, boys and girls, and tell us what you learned about Jacob. The son of Isaac. And we'll see you next week. Okay? Bye bye.